In this presentation, I'm going to discuss bond characteristics. Now, bonds represent indebtedness. Uh, firms and government entities many times just can't pay as they go, so they issue debt to buy certain things like firms will buy property and plant and equipment, and, and of course governments will build roads and bridges. Now, all bonds have similar characteristics. I'm going to see if I can highlight all these characteristics on this one picture right here. Uh, the first characteristic is uh, maturity date. Put one here, and I'll put the maturity date. All bonds or debt must be retired at a future date, so there's generally a maturity date. Uh, second is going to be a uh, a principal. I can call it the future value, or I can call it the principal. That's the amount. Uh, let's see the the amount the issuer will be returned from the lender. Um, the issuer returned to the lender. Uh, the third one here is going to be a fixed payment. Now there's going to be many payments depending on the agreement between you know th that was set with the original uh, information. This one here is going to be also referred to as the interest. The interest. Now don't get this confused with other fixed uh, payment type. Uh, uh, I call them assets like a preferred stock because preferred stocks pay from earnings, their dividends, whereas this is an actual expense paid by the either the firm or the government entity. Uh, the fourth one is the rate. I'll put the rate right here. We refer to it generally as a coupon. It's a U, coupon rate. The coupon rate. <clears throat> and this is fixed. This is fixed. Now, since this is fixed, you might assume the rate of return for a bond to be the same for the life of the bond. However, the the fifth number here, well, that's a terrible five, uh, the fifth data point here is the per, uh, is the present value and uh, the par value and it can change from the date of issue to the date of maturity therefore one of the things we like to look at when we look at bonds is we look at yields um, a yield is uh, expressed either as I'm going to put current here the current yield or some type of yield to when the bond is retired. Now I say when retired here because uh, it could be retired either uh, at the maturity date, which we'll call that yield to maturity, or we can call it, it could be called early, so yield to call, both of these yield to call, yield to maturity. Uh, also, do not confuse this current yield right here for the coupon rate. They are different. They are different. The coupon rate again is fixed. Is fixed. <clears throat> now, finally, all of these derive themselves from something we refer to as the yield curve. I'm going to draw it really quick, and I'm going to show a picture of it. it. Generally, looks like this, and this would be the rate of return, and this, of course, is the time down here. And uh, basically, the rates do change. This is, I'm sorry, this is from U.S. government securities, the rate on U.S. government securities. And the rates do change. Uh, here, let me go ahead and open one up. Here, here is the current rates uh, as of today. And you can take a look. Here is the yield curve here. And I simply just went to Yahoo, clicked on Finance, and went to Market Data and Bonds. And you can always get the uh, yield curve and the information on the yield curve.